friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about one of the shortcut way of uh, doing the payments to the vendor invoices okay as we all know that to make the payment to the vendor invoices we can make the use of uh, our payment journal and uh, via using this journal we just have to mention few of the field details like document type as payment document number account type as vendor and then the account number of the vendor which means the vendor number and then from the bank uh, uh, on which we want to from which we want to make the payment so we have to make and enter enter those details in this journal uh, to these columns okay other than that we just have to as soon as we input the details of the vendor and the bank we have to click on the apply entries and select the invoices uh, against which we want to make the payment okay so this is one of the general way of making the payment and in the uh, way of making the payment is also suggest vendor payment batch job which we can run from the payment journal and can generate the details of the payment against the invoices automatically so these are the two ways which we have already learned before if you have not watched those uh, you can watch my videos uh, in this channel in the playlist and you will learn about them the another shortcut method uh, from the business central is that uh, you just have to click on the search button and type here pay vendor so when you type this pay vendor you can see that it is of type task and when we click on this it gives us the vendor ledger entries so guys one of the thing is that when it opens the vendor ledger entry it uh, we can see that there is no uh, additionally or new filters are already added when the page is open right so which means that all the vendor ledger entries are currently visible to us okay so what we can do is that uh, I can add one filter that the invoices should be open and the document type should be invoice right so now you can see that okay sorry uh, let me type again pay vendor and let me add open as yes and another filter of document type as invoice okay so now you can see that this is the list of all the invoices which are currently open that means it has been not been paid by us okay so now the easiest way of creating the payment automatically rather than going to the payment journal and input the details manually then selection of the invoices manually uh, we can do all this stuff in an automated way along with uh, we can uh, decide that on which invoice uh, we want to make the payment okay so what we can do is that for example we can see that currently there are so many uh, different vendors out there against which we want to uh, make the payment so let's do one thing what we can do is that i can click on select more and see i can select one invoice of 50000 another invoice of 40000 let me select two invoices of 40000 then one invoice of 30000 another invoice of 20000 and then last invoice of 10000 okay so we have selected single and multiple invoices of different different vendors okay that we have now decided that we want to make the payment of these invoices so now what you just have to do is that you just have to click on this button called create payment so as soon as you click on this button what it will do it will create a payment journal okay and apply all these invoices okay but 
since there's a cache because we have uh, multiple vendors different vendors so it will create different different or multiple lines in the payment journal so let's see that click on create payment now it is asking us one thing that we know, we all know that uh, to create a payment journal we need the information of the template name and the batch name so it is suggesting us that you want these batch or you can change them also in case you want some different batches and the templates i have no concern with the default ones so i will select those posting date of course uh, you have to select the date of the posting of the payment in your ledger so whatever the date could be you can change it here then the starting document number then the bank account type like from which bank you want to make the payment of all these open invoices okay based on the selection of your bank system will input this bank information in the balance account type fields and the last type is payment type which is manual check or a computer check or electronic payment so whether you want to, uh, the payment to be done via check or via EFT payment so you can select the options from here by the way if you don't know about what is computer check and the manual check so i have made a video out there in my in my channel uh, where i have explained about what is the difference between the computer check and the manual check so you can uh, very well check out that one as well i will add that in the card as well so that you can watch it uh, now once all the details are filled you just have to click on okay and see the results so system has created one, two, three, four, five, total five payments. Why? Because we have total five different vendors. One, uh, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 and 50,000. Right? So that's why because the vendors are different. So system has created five different lines. Now, if you see, uh, if we scroll it to the right, we can see here that, uh, system has also input the amount and the bank details successfully and we can see here that applied is yes so which means that in case if i want i can select this and click on apply entries you can see that it has applied one entry or one invoice for the thirty thousand uh, let's see for the forty thousand yeah, so for the 40,000, it has applied two open invoices because we have selected two invoices for the vendor 40,000. So that's why it has applied only those two invoices. And same goes for the other vendors. It has applied only one one entry because we have selected only one one invoices against each vendor. Okay, so you just have to check everything. And once you feel that everything is fine enough, you can click on preview posting first and that's it now everything is uh, successfully done you can review that gl entry is correct my gls are uh, posting with uh, correct numbers so once you confirm with that point also preview posting is done then finally you can click on the post button and click on yes that's it your payment is done now if you go back to the vendor ledgers you can see that all your invoices are already paid successfully uh, whether no okay this is the wrong filter now so because our invoices are already paid so what we can do here is that we can see that our payments are created here okay so we can see here that if I click on applied entries we can see that this is our invoices which get applied against my payment right so this is one of the very effective way or one of the shortcut way of uh, making the payment so it will definitely helps the accountant people the people who uh, whose job is to make the payment on the daily basis that uh, which payment which invoices is current due for today and they can just directly go to the vendor ledger and select those invoices and directly make a payment from there right so this is a very good and effective way i suggest you to please have a look over it and start using it in case you don't know about it thank you very much for watching this today's video if you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this